Hello and welcome to another Destiny 2 mod testing video. Today we're looking at ammo finder mods, and specifically for the grenade launcher. First we're going to take a look at my run through of this lost sector to see the method I used for measuring the heavy ammo drops. I basically just ran this a couple times with and without the heavy ammo uh, finder on, and tested the difference, also counting the total enemies killed. I'm going to let the rest of the first one play out just so you can get an idea of how often the drops occur without an ammo finder and if you're not paying full attention it'll slow down there'll be a loud ding. Alright, and here are our results at the end of the first lost sector. 119 enemies killed, 4 heavy ammo bricks, and that is a 3.4% drop rate per enemy killed on average. Now let's take a second run through. Each successive one will be significantly condensed so that we don't have to take as much time as the first. Now you know the method, it's basically just that. So in the next one we had the exact same thing, 4 heavy ammo brick drops over 119 enemies, so a 3.4% drop rate. Let's do one more just to make sure, and in the last one, very disappointing. Only one heavy ammo brick, 0.8% drop rate, total 2.5 over all three. Now let's try with the grenade launcher ammo finder on. Right away you can see a significant increase. Now you may be wondering, why do I have tracked regular and finder? That's because when the ammo finder perk activates and you need to drop from that, you can actually tell the difference. One, by the indication of the ammo finder perk in the bottom left. But another way that's pretty interesting is you can actually tell by the glow above the heavy ammo brick. Here you can see the one on the left glows significantly more. So, base regular drop rate from before was 2.5. Now we have 5 regular bricks at 4%, 6 ammo finder bricks at 5%, and a total of 11 bricks, which is 9%. A great increase across all three. Another run through the same lost sector with the ammo finder perk on, just to get a larger sample size. And on this one, yet again another massive increase. This time, 7 regular bricks, 4 ammo finder bricks, and 11 total bricks. 11 total again, with 9%. Now we're going to take a look at the difference between the two. With no finders, we got 2.5%, and with the ammo finder overall, 5% for regular bricks, and 4% for the finder bricks. Now, how much can we actually get from a finder brick? Is it the same? With double reserves, we get 2 Taking the reserves off, let's see how much we get with nothing applied. One on our first time. One brick on our second time. Yet on our third time we get two. So it definitely seems more likely to get one, but a drop of two with no perks is possible. Now let's see how Scavenger affects it. Scavenger brings us up to two on this first test. Yet, on the next one, only one. So overall, I would say that one regular brick can drop as four, five, or six, but most likely to be five. A finder brick can drop as one or two, significantly more likely to be one, so around 1.3. No finder, on average, is five ammo, times 2.5 drops per 100 enemies, which is 12.5 grenade launcher ammo per 100 enemies. However, with an ammo finder, and my theory is that it also increases the base heavy ammo drop rate, because that was the overall thing, evidence that I got from the data that I gathered. So, if we are assuming that it increases the base rate as well, we'll say 5x5 for that, and 4x1.3 
for the finder bricks which is 30.2 grenade launcher ammo per 100 enemies, which is an 141% increase. However, if we're going to assume that that was just a fluke and it only adds the finder, then we're going to say it's 17.7 grenade launcher per 100 enemies killed, which is still a very significant 41% increase. So despite the ammo finder bricks not giving that much, it is still a larger chunk than I think you would think. Overall in PvE, I would definitely say it's a useful mod. Make sure to subscribe to see more mod testing videos in the future.